Yes, 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 guys. Welcome back to another video. It's been a long while, I know. Um, I had some trouble uploading videos on YouTube for a while. That's why we've missed one vlog. That vlog would have been Stockport versus Charlton. But tonight, we're going to Aston Villa versus Leeds in the West Midlands. Let's go now. I'm ready for the day. Put my shoelace is untied. Great stuff. So we have just taken a little stop off at Stafford Services, we are going into the Mackies now to get some food and then it's straight down to Villa Park from here which is about a 30 minute, 30 minute drive so it's not too bad. Um, we have two Leeds fans here, they've took the long journey down, um, what are your score predictions for, to for today? I'd be quite happy with a draw but I think I'll be positive but I'll go for 2-1 Leeds. 2-1 Leeds, what about you mate? I'll go Leeds 3-2. Leeds 3-2, you've said that as well. Okay, what what players uh, should Villa look out for today? I think Rodrigo's in form, isn't he? Rodrigo he's playing really well. Um, it's a pity we've not got um, you know uh, our wingers. Uh, okay. but I think Harrison as well. I think Harrison will come in and have a good game. All right, nice one. Cheers, boys. Heading down to Villa Park now, it's just on the other side of these uh, trees or fences over there. We've got the Sky Sports drone up in the air, ready to get those beautiful cinematic clips for the game. Live on Sky Sports on a Friday night tonight. Loads of traffic building up for this. It was, it was actually fairly easy getting in. Oh yeah, easy. But we're just on the way to the stadium now. I'm actually looking forward to this game. Two class teams of the English division or English history even football heritage. football heritage that's what you should call it so we'll get some score predictions from me and Thomas in a minute so we're just outside Villa Park now um, I'm looking forward to this game um, seems it's going to be a sellout as well um, seems like both teams are going all out I'm going to go for a cheeky 2-1 Aston Villa win um, just because they seem like they will have the home advantage even though uh, Leeds' atmosphere, especially away atmosphere, will probably intimidate the Villa players but I'm going to go for a 2-1 Aston Villa win. So obviously when we go to away days we've got the Mr Super Thomas Bamford. What do you think the score prediction is going to be? What, what's his score prediction tonight? It's going to be fiery, tasty, both teams will be all out. 3-2 Leeds, that's not winner. Oh, glad you said that quiet mate. <laughs> Game time now. Looks like it's a long walk up because we're in the upper tier. Just like when I usually when I went to Old Trafford, it was a long walk up. So I got myself a nice strong bow cider here, and then Villa have got their own kind of pie. It's a uh, cheese and onion. No, what was it? Cheese broccoli, bro broccoli and cheese pie. So I'm going to give this a little try now. I don't usually go for uh, the normal strongbow, I usually go for strongbow dark fruits, but that tastes really good. So to be honest, it looks alright, it just looks like an ordinary cheese pie, I'm going to give it a little taste. See now that's a vegan option, but I have to say that is really good, I'm going to give that a solid 9.5 out of 10 and I think that is my highest rating so far. 
So just like at the service station in Stafford where I got the Leeds fans' predictions, we've got two Villa boys here. What What's your score prediction for tonight? I think we're legit 2-1. 2-1, one. Two, one, I predicted 2-1. What right. about you, mate? Steady 3-1 Villa. 3-1 Villa. Villa, that's good. What what players uh, as a neutral should I look out for tonight? Uh, probably Vibra Kukumara in the middle for Villa. Yep. He's been one of our most consistent players. Uh, Jacob Ramsey is back in the squad today yep. after being out with injury, so them two will be the ones to watch a bit. Uh, cheers, boys. Thank you very much. So I'm sat down in my seat now. And I do have to say, if no, I went to Molyneux not so long ago, I don't mean to be bad to my hometown. But it seems like Aston Villa put a little bit better of a more coordinated light show. And it's pretty impressive. Kick-off is soon. This Leeds is on the way. This is Leeds, you know. He's on side. Good interception. Brilliant interception by Tyrone Mings there. still go anyway but from that counter attack it looks like Villa have this game This is a free kick in a very dangerous position. If anyone's a decent enough free kick taker, this is prime territory. are appealing for a penalty there. But Emmy Martinez seems to be like the player who's picked up the biggest knock off it. Now. 
That's a good ball. Oh my god! Oh my god! Some brilliant defensive play by Villa there. Their defence is on fire tonight. The Leeds fans over there go so excited because they thought they had scored. <laughs> That's some excellent defending by Villa there. And it's cleared away once again by Ashley Young. The referee has just looked at his watch. I think he, yeah, he's blew, he's blew the whistle. Yeah, there we go. Half time. Villa one leads nil. The Leon Bailey goal. Very impressive play from Villa. But Leeds do seem to be like they're going to be a threat in the second half, maybe. Start of the second half now. Villa is shooting down this end. Chance opening up, Danny Ings. Oh. Leads have a corner. He's put in. Picked up by Emmy Martinez. Nice and calmly there. He's got options. Why did he not play the ball there? I will not know. a really good ball it's in and it's offside I think it might be offside we don't know I don't know I was wrong last time <laughs> VAR check. See, the thing is, me saying that now, it might, I might be wrong. The longer it goes up, more. Yeah, the the the, the longer. It, it was when he headed it. He wasn't. He was. He was offside. But when the. a comfort goal for Villa they definitely needed it as well the away team did put some pressure on them within the last half an hour to 40 minutes but that goal has definitely eased the pressure it doesn't mean that Leeds can't put any pressure it doesn't mean that Leeds cannot put any pressure on Villa it just means they have to work even hard for it now In. There was always going to be a goal coming for Leeds. They've been threatening all through the second half. Patrick Bamford, the main man, scores for them. It was really good that Villa got that comfort goal.
full time kick. Maybe not. Oh! A little bit of pushing and shoving going on in the corner. for me to edit this vlog, get a few hours sleep, and then get on the quarter past seven train to Sheffield. What do you have to say to them? Subscribe to Spend Blogs. Do what she said. I'm going to finish in edit editing this vlog, <coughs> and then I'm done for the night. Peace out.